there, superhumans. I uh, hope you're having a great week back on the groove on Tuesdays, although I slept horrible last night. Uh, so a little bit of a late start. Anyways, it is Halloween weekend. Everybody loves Halloween weekend. Everybody should love Halloween weekend. <laughs> Anyways, especially in Denver where we're going to do a lot of kind of quirky things. Um, anyways, <clears throat> apologize, the sneeze is coming in. Um, so, on the 28th and 29th, the um, Colorado Symphony is doing their Halloween event. Uh, this year, it is Tim Burton's Nightmare Before Christmas. Um, should be fantastic. <clears throat> so, um, that's down on uh, Butcher Concert Hall, uh, Curtis Street, downtown Denver. So, I'm not sure if they have tickets, but uh, I think... I definitely, they typically do have uh, tickets remaining because that's such a large venue. So if you're feeling your Tim Burton and you want to check it out, I highly recommend it. Um, and then for the kiddos, there's uh, quite a few kind of uh, planned events uh, to do during the day when it's less cold, less dark, yada, yada, yada. Um, Butterfly Pavilion is doing their bugaboo uh, trick-or-treating. That is the 29th and 30th um, at the Butterfly Pavilion up in Westminster. Um, yeah, that's just their general admission. Kids wear their costumes, trick-or-treat, all that stuff. That's from 9 to 5, uh, both Saturday and Sunday. Um, trick-or-treat trail uh, by Denver Zoo. This is uh, kind of a crazy event, but a lot of fun also. Um, that's $20 a kiddo. Um, and that is the 29th, the 30th, and the 31st, starting at dark. So they have it all lit up, all that good stuff, lots of fun. It is restricted, so you're not, you don't have access to the full zoo. But that's from uh, 5.30 to 8.30, um, all three days there. So check that out. And then um, the Par Paranormal Palace the 13th annual event at the McNichols Event Center is happening on the 29th and also on, or, or, and it goes till Sunday. Sorry, I misread that. Um, so, uh, yeah, that will be really interesting. It's open bar, uh, $2,000 prize for the best costume. Um, yeah, DJs, all of that stuff. Just seems really next level. Um, because when they offer those big prizes, you know that people are going to go all out. So um, should be a lot of fun. Um, and then also at the stockyards uh, in the city on the 29th, also they have their Halloween event. Um, this is their 12th annual. They're saying it's uh, the largest in the state. Um, so that one should also be interesting. Stockyards are huge. They're doing immersive events, all of that um, on there. So that should be really intriguing for sure on that piece. Um, yeah, so those are the things. Um, there's a ton more. There's a ton more. So um, uh, also uh, Glow over at Botanic Gardens is still going on. Uh, great for the kiddos. I do believe they have a day event also. And then typically especially Denver Botanic Gardens is going to do their Day of the Dead the day after um, with like art events and all those things. Um, Santa Fe Arts District also tends to do Day of the Dead events if that's something you're interested in. So anyways, just wanted to share, touch base, check in. Um, yeah, uh, spread the love and I'll talk to y'all later. All right. Bye. <laughs>